knew I was forgetting to do something. Always and every time. Every time. Alright. It's Friday. And it's Arch Stream Day. Of course it is. So, um, last week. Nope. That's what I want. Yeah, so. Camera's gonna get a little wonky for a minute. Alright. So, last week we put our color key down and this week we're actually going to start to paint with tissue paper well it's really glue the tissue paper in but you know I'm not using bleeding tissue paper I'm using regular old stick in a gift bag tissue paper and um yeah we're gonna we're going to start to do some things and stuff here. And uh, see what we can do. So today's supplies are tissue paper, tacky glue, um, not sponsored, it's just tacky glue. Um, I don't. Well, I guess, like, school glue might work, but you might want to, or, like, with the white glue, you might want to, like, let it sit for a few minutes. Just so you're not fighting with it. The, the tacky glue tends to, um, grab the paper. Um, if I do it too soon after I put it down though it'll start to um, slide around especially if I'm doing circles and stuff so sometimes I do fight with it just a little bit but it's usually not too bad so we're gonna start out with just with how we're starting we're gonna apply directly to the canvas with the glue And I have a crappy paintbrush. Like a really shitty paintbrush. Um not not shitty to the point where the 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 hairs are falling out of it, but shitty in the sense that glue or paint had dried in the bristles up near the ferrule. And that that's just not coming out. Nothing I do has made that any better. So, um, it's become one of my glue and sealant applying brushes. Plus the bristles are kind of funky. Looks like I tried to cut something out of there. I don't know. It's a rather, rather funky paintbrush. So, and I'm just going to rinse the glue out of that brush real quick with some water. Sorry, I'm trying to get this zoomed back in. There we go. Just so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Alright, so um the pishu the the pishu. The pishu. In this pishu, the tissue paper. I cut it down into little squares. Okay? Then, depending on what I'm doing and what texture I want, I will manipulate it from there. Um, I also have a tiny stylus. Well, I guess it's not that tiny, but I did pick up a stylus that I grabbed at the dollar store. 
So I'm just going to start. I made little paper snakes out of my squares. And I'm just going to start to lay this down in the glue. Tapping it down with my stylus just so I can attempt to keep my fingers clean. Probably won't last for long. I'll get glue on me at some point. I mean, you're going to get glue on you. That's a given. But this is why I did the color key down. For when we have gaps that are inevitably going to show up. Now you can do this in any pattern that you want. Um, I'm going to start out with the sky being in the straight paper snakes and then the clouds I'm going to do in little twisty doos. to work a little bit quickly because you know it is glue but it's also not the end of the world if, if you're not working that quickly um, you can put more glue down it's okay it'll, it'll be alright I do have my own music playing. Um, you guys can't hear it though, because I don't want to get my ass DMCA'd, so you listen to whatever you want. Like, I had been using Pretzel, but then it didn't want to work. It was being silly. They, like, updated it or something, and then once they did the update, it was being strange, and then I got two VODs muted and I'm like well what do you mean that's not right I was using an approved thingy and I just didn't feel like fighting with it so I was like fine whatever that's how we're gonna play then I just won't do it I don't know if it was because I was having trouble getting the annotation in um, to show up in the chat. Um, so if you find, not maybe that zoomed in, is it? I could try to take it further in so you can see it a little bit better. If you find that one of your snakes just doesn't seem to be the right size that you're looking for, cut it. It's paper. You're fine. You can totally do that. No one says you can't. It's like, oh no, the paper please. No. I can cut it if it's not working. <laughs> That's, just cut it. It's fine. 
This is a very, well, I shouldn't say it's very forgiving, but it's forgiving to a point. Um, you don't have to use a stylus, you can use a toothpick. Um, I was just in the dollar store and saw it and I was like, ooh, I want that. And then I just ended up using it for this. It's like all little dot doodles. Okay, so I actually want to transition out a little bit into another color. So I'm actually going to unravel one of my darker pink snakes. And I'm going to grab one of my lighter pink snakes. Probably not going to be all of that noticeable. I'm trying to remember how, how did I do this before? I was able to stripe it. It might have been something like that. Or did I just twist two together? I'm trying to remember how I did it. I think it's actually a smoother transition. If we... it this way. I was like so proud of myself last night because I'm like, oh yeah, let me get some of this twisted ahead of time. So we don't have to waste too much time twisting paper today. But here we are twisting paper. On another one that I was doing, like if I was doing a different texture, then I would probably just um, put some glue out on a plate and just kind of paintbrush the whole area as I'm going. But um, with this particular pattern that I'm doing, at the moment. I think this is how we're going to do it. I kind of already have a plan in place for my clouds. That section is probably going to need some more, some more glue. Stay put, paintbrush. Alright. Times I think I really should just get some specific art tweezers that can get all gunky. Where it doesn't matter so much. And one of these days, I just might. So our color key, I'm just using as an approximation. And by no way, shape, or means is that going to be the be all, end all how we're doing it. 
There's always um, room for changing things. Especially as you get your hand in the glue. As I'm prone to do. Stay put. Stay. Floors in this house are not level. So nothing likes to stay where I put it. Today's music selection in my earbuds is going to be Owl City. At least some Owl City. Probably be faster if I just took fresh pieces of paper instead of unraveling these guys, but. Those are what I have out at the moment. So I kind of just want to roll with that. So this one's a little long. So, sorry, I do have the window cracked open. Um, there's probably going to be some traffic loudness because it's raining. Sorry. So, apologies. I don't know why I like to do this. I had started doing this a while ago. And then I kind of got away from it. But I've been kind of wanting to get back to it. These are two different shades of pink. It's hard to tell at the moment with the lighting, but they are in fact. Two different shades. And you can squish them down. If you don't want to do the paper snakes, you can do um, just squares and glue it down. It depends on the texture that you're going for. Because um, when we seal this, or when I seal it, um, the texture of the lines here, the little snakes, will remain. Like, that will stay. Now, start to work on Hang on, I just realized I've got an extra, sort of an extra shade here. And I want to see if these two are in fact the same shade. 
Um, what nose do this in shade or not, actually? They're two different brands of tissue paper, so I'm like, hmm. Let's see here. Um, one is slightly darker than the other. Slightly. Hmm. I don't want to do that. Hmm. Have to think about that for a second. All right. Well, this color. Just have to get the glue to come down the bottle. It's a big bottle. This is an old bottle of glue, actually. But it's still very much is functioning. Which is all that really matters. All you really need from glue is for it to be sticky. And, you know, come out of the packaging. And um, you just want to make sure that you use a glue that's going to dry clear. That's the biggest thing. Whatever glue you attempt to do this with, if you can't get your hands on tacky. I think I used to do school glue at one point. It was a little bit messier. But I think I vaguely remember using that for a while. But, you know. Just understand that you might be fighting it for a little bit. So for the clouds, I'm going to do circles. So to get a circle from a snake, you're going to twirl it. You're going to spin it into like a snail shell. Or like a flower. Sometimes they get a little springy. And sometimes they will fight you a little bit. So just do be prepared for that. As long as you understand that when you do the circles, it may fight you a little bit. It's all right. It's paper. Just you know, it doesn't also. It also does not have to be perfect. Because if it really gets disgruntled with you. always put another piece on top if it's separating too much. And I do try to have at least the snake part done before I start 
putting in my snake. See, sometimes it will fight you um, before I start putting in my snakes or my circles. Um, I tried the snake stuff. Just to try to save some time. And like a toothpick or you know one of these do doodles or you know even a paper clip that you unbend to just have like one of the little arms sticking off of it will probably help And see, sometimes it won't be a perfect circle. <laughs> sometimes it's a little wonky. But that is still okay. That's why it helps to let the glue set for just a second. That way it starts to get a little bit of that um, film on it or skin as it starts to set up. You don't have to cut squares as tiny as I do. can cut them bigger. That is more than fine too. That one got away from us a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, my allergies are doing a number on me this past week. It's been terrible. It doesn't seem to help that I, s it appears that I have a seasonal allergy type reaction with my hands. Um, so my skin gets kind of weird I and mean, there's really nothing I can do for it I'll get these little blisters and then my skin will itch and then it breaks open and then it gets all cracked and split and it settles down for a little while but then it always seems to come and go This allergy season has just been so bad. Like last year, it w really wasn't all that uh, terrible. But um, we actually seem to be having some sort of spring here this year. 
Like it was 70 for a couple of days and now they're talking about another freeze warning coming up in a day or two. And I'm like, no, I've planted my elephant ears. No, no. So hopefully we can get, I gotta watch the temperatures. I don't know if that's tonight or not. Um, might be Tuesday. I have to look at the uh, the forecasted temperatures. We might have to put some trash bags over my my buckets that we've planted them in, and cross our fingers. I don't think they've poked the surface yet, but I'm like, no, enough of this madness. The other day it was so hot in here. We were actually contemplating. Um, is it too early for the air conditioner to go in the window? I'm glad I declined to do that, because... No. We definitely don't need it now. It's just been cold and wet and miserable off and on the past couple of days. Like, there was a little bit of sun, but then not so much. Okay, buddy. You need to squish down in there. So it's just just doing the circles. Um, just gives it a little bit of a different texture, and um, you can kind of see the color difference there between the two pinks now that I'm looking at it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it does break it up. It does give it a slightly different texture from the rest of the sky color. So that's, that's good. That works. Kind of gives it that cloudy, circular fluff sort of and you have that one that just wants to be difficult no matter what you do I think I can get one more on that end piece there and that little bit of glue Now, um, I will be sealing this with, um, with Mod Podge, just to, you know, make sure nothing decides to, to shift or come unstuck. I haven't had anything really come unstuck doing this. I usually have it pretty well in place. The tacky glue doesn't tend to let go since it's paper. I've not tried this with yarn. I've kind of wanted to, but yarn is actually a bit more expensive than the tissue paper, so even the cheaper yarn for the amount of colors I would need. Um, and based off the size of this, so I'm like, oh, I don't know. I kind of was toying around with the idea of doing it with the yarn, but I mean, I would get quite a lot of mileage out of each skein of yarn if I went with like the Super Saver Red Heart stuff, but um, at the same time, It's still not that cheap, even though it's one of the cheaper brands. Or one of the cheaper types of skeins. That um, you can get. Nope. 
you are gonna no you're gonna stick stop popping up you'll get some stubborn little tails that'll try to stick up you can just try to push them back down in the glue sometimes you might have to hold it for a second For the next one, I'm going to take this one purple. I've got two different shades of purple that are apparently kind of close to one another. One's kind of like a bright pop of purple, and the other one's a little bit ever so... Faintly, why can't I? My fingers don't want to work. There we go. Um, it's got like a faintly gray tone to it. Not much of one. It's just barely there. So I'm going to take a few of these. I'm actually going to untwist them. I was thinking of just putting them in next to the other color, but I think I want to try this and see what it's going to look like. A lot of this is trial and error to see, you know, oh well, am I going to like how this looks, am I not going to like how this looks? So tissue paper, well, some of the tissue paper I'm using, well, I guess the majority of it, um, I had picked up in a multi-pack off of Amazon, it was on sale, so I grabbed it, it's like 360 sheets um, it's 36 colors, 10 of each color. And one of the packs I didn't open right away, like when it came in the mail, I just left it sitting in the mailer because I'm like, oh, that's what that is. I'm not ready to cut that yet. I'm still working on the other package. And then when I was cleaning the other day, I was like, oh, well, I ordered the paper trimmer. And since I'm working on the VOD with another one that's much larger, <laughs> Um, I should probably, um, I should probably, oh, that didn't work. I should probably open it so I can at least put it in its storage cubby. And when I opened it, it was missing the insert. And I was like, what? <laughs> Where's the little paper insert that the other one had? Let's see how I open it. So I like how that's gonna... Well, maybe, that might work. And uh, I panicked a little bit because I was like, this was supposed to be the same thing. Why is it now not the same thing? Um, the other two that we ordered, um, did turn out to be the right thing. And those had the inserts. This might have just been a missed, um, a manufacturing issue where the insert just didn't make it in, I guess. We'll see. I still haven't actually opened that one fully to um, look at the colors inside because the colors seem to be in a different order. That, that package just seems to have all kinds of 
problems going on with it. So I'm like, hmm, okay. The other ones that I ordered seem to be all right. I don't know if I'm gonna start unraveling as I'm pausing to do these ones. I don't know if it's really worth it. I mean, you know, we'll have a couple. And then we have the other one that we're going to pop in. Alright, so let's get... Let's clear the glue off the nozzle. So it'll actually... Come out. Where's my stylus? There we go. Yay, glue all over my fingers. <laughs> so you're gonna see the little glue bits. And my finger is still sore. I got myself um, with the scissors pretty good um, before the paper trimmer showed up. So I wasn't real thrilled about, but what can you do? That one actually bled. A couple times I got myself and didn't bleed, but that one bled pretty good. It's still sore. It's like a little flap of skin. I thought it had healed, but it took the band-aid off and I'm like, oh, okay. And now, of course, I keep banging it on everything. Just rinsing the glue off of our glue brush and I'm sitting that on a paper towel to dry. We're just gonna retighten up our circle here. Because they kind of unspiraled themselves, but that's okay. No, 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 no. Don't be unspiraling. I don't think so. going to take just a little bit of one of our other, that purple that it's swirled with. Just kind of tuck that into that gap there. doing a bang up job <laughs> getting these in here in one piece probably because it put two wished together. Sometimes they can be a little little fussy. The two together sometimes work better. 
um, just if you snake them together like in here but then you're adding more layers to be twisted and spun Sometimes it's just a bit easier to not add the second color. Sometimes. But sometimes you just need that extra little bit. of color just to kind of make it poof I'm gonna set the stylus down just for a moment probably should have tested these ahead of time That's okay. And I'm just going back in and filling in some of the gappy doos. Where'd it go? Oh. Fell into my lap. I'm like, I had it. I thought it had blended into the background somewhere. Nope, no, just my own silliness. I'm losing track of stuff. So it's Friday, what are you all doing for this weekend? Anybody doing anything interesting? Hope everybody's having a good week and that your weekend starts off well. Hopefully you didn't have to work too late this week or too many extra hours. Before we, my fingers get a little stiff doing this, um, how do we move on or put more glue down? I want to get a few more of these twisted and I'm just, you know, just twist them. Nothing fancy to it, just twist it however you want to twist it. Whatever you want to do. Now this isn't a quick project by any stretch of the imagination. It does take a little bit of time to uh, get through. But that's okay. You know what? It, it's, it'll take some time. You can chill out. Put on a show. Put on some music. Whatever. Whatever does it for you. Because, I mean, you know, it's 
it's a craft, it's art. Some people work on paintings for weeks. Especially if you don't have a whole lot of time to work on it. I mean, if I had had the paper already twisted, it probably wouldn't take quite as long, but I ran out of time to twist the paper last night because I was cutting one of the big, uh, big packs of, fish, of uh, tissue paper and uh, trying to come to an understanding with the paper trimmer and figure out the best way to use that one because it's not a guillotine paper cutter, it's like a scrapbook lift the little blade up, put the arm down to hold it in place, and then run the blade up and down. And it's tissue paper, so I mean, you know, tissue paper isn't always the most cooperative to use, so. I try to get this stuff done ahead of time, but I was trying to make sure we had enough stuff cut. Alright. Didn't think we are going to be using this shade either. Alright, I think we'll make that our... Our stop on the purple for right now because we still have some pink that's already twisted. And I'm not. Yes, I am. I didn't think I was in frame. And I do come in with the brush, even though I kind of spread it out with the with the uh, nozzle on the glue bottle. But this glue is very thick, so um, sometimes I don't want it quite that thick because then it, I'll be fighting the glue. Like, I want it a little thick, but... I want it thick enough to grab the, the paper, but not so thick that it's swimming in it, you know? We don't have to follow the color key exactly. Again, it was just kind of there, so my reference photo is already there. <laughs> my reference is already in place. I don't have to go too far to find one or remember to pull it up. And then I have a vague idea of where stuff should be going, since um, I am working off of a reference image. And I am trying to recreate a different, like this isn't something I'm making up. This does sort of exist out there in oil paint form and in fact we did this oil painting tutorial um, we followed this and I have a version of this we followed this last last spring last summer um, I still have the item that we made with the tutorial 
up for sale in the shop. We uh, we need a magnet. Nope, 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 nope. Can you sit your butt down? And that glue. Sometimes they're cooperative, sometimes they're not. I didn't give it that much time to um, start to set though. I just kind of jumped in while the glue was still very, very slidey aroundy. You don't want to wait too long. So, I mean, I do suggest if you try this. Um, until you get a feel for how fast your glue is going to dry and the speed at which you work. I'd work in small, smaller sections. I do like how this is starting to look. I know it might look a little strange and just kind of weird at the moment. But it's not gonna it's supposed to have the texture. It's not going to be a full-on picture-perfect um, recreate. I just realized it was really quiet in here. Husband has vanished to the depths of the house somewhere. It's okay if some of the tacky glue or whatever glue you're using gets on top. As long as it's the type of glue that's gonna dry clear, because like I said, we're gonna we're gonna be putting uh, Mod Podge on top to seal everything in. So I just slid the whole thing across my desk. So I'm kind of jumping around between a couple of colors. But that's okay. You don't have to stick to just one color right now. the darker purple you can kind of vaguely see the difference when we're right next to each other but I had a little gap that I wanted to fill in there Okay, 
Now I'm like really packing these in here tight. Um, you don't have to do it that tight if you don't want to. You do what you want to do. You do your thing. Well, I don't know how many people would be as insane as, as I am to uh, do this with tissue paper. I don't think quite that many people would want to be bothered. But that's okay. We each have our own things. You all right? Uh-huh. Tell you what, I am excited for dinner. I'm always excited for food. And it's nowhere near dinner time, so. Oh, nowhere near. That's okay, this will keep me busy until then. Okay. No, no. Stick. Had an unruly paper tail there. Didn't want to cooperate. Oh dang, we're gonna be a couple paper twists short here. No, no, no. Sit, sit, sit. Sometimes you have to talk to them to make them understand. No. It's not what I wanted you to do. It's okay to talk to your art supplies. I think, anyway. I mean, Bob said you gotta make noises, right? Besides, here's a secret. If you're actually sitting there talking to your art supplies, most people will leave you the hell alone. <laughs> You probably won't have that many people leaning over your shoulder like, Oh, what are you doing? Trying to get this paper. To submit to what I'm trying to make it do. <laughs> Alright, we need a few more twists on this color because I didn't twist enough. I was afraid we hadn't when I was looking at the uh, space I had dropped the glue into, but that's okay. doesn't take too long to twist it. I just prefer to pre-twist it before the glue goes down. I think the last time I did these, this is the first time I've tried to to do a, a Bob Ross painting, but the last time I messed around with the tissue paper art, um, I seem to remember we cut, husband had helped me, we cut a whole bunch of them, the tissue paper, and then we were just sitting there filling the bags like a third full like the ziploc bags that we were keeping them in um i think we filled them like a third full of uh 
the little pre-twisted thingies. Just in an attempt to make it go a little bit faster. Now I probably have too many twisted, but it won't go bad, it's fine. Just paper. Let's see, it's gonna go over our painted in color key a little bit in spots. Again, that's okay. It's all right. The color key was there just as a suggestion for where I kind of wanted stuff to go to keep with the feel of the original. Alright, so we're making some progress here. I'm from going off the uh, screen there. Let me slide that over. Come on. This one's being a little fussy. Or my fingers are being fussy. About spinning. So yeah, see if you give the glue just a couple of moments or like a minute or two, depending on the type of glue you're using. Um, you know, a, a minute or two to start to dry. It seems to grab your paper a little bit better. See now it didn't. Now you can see why um, it didn't matter how um, polished that painting that we did last week was because you know we're putting this stuff on top. So essentially, it will be completely covered. So that's more than fine. do have and you know it's tissue paper if it's not the right size rip it or cut it it's okay it's gonna be okay I just kind of twisted a snake and double backed it on itself and twisted it again just to get that Hooked in. All right. And that's okay. We have that little spot to the side. Oh, geez. So tissue paper loves to be staticky and clingy. So do be prepared for it to have a mind of its own. Alright, so I don't have that shape too many places. Okay, let's come back in with our darker pink. Oh, and we need some more of our 
lighter purple. I mean, the darker pink is still pretty light, but... Okay. So we're going to try not to slide this too far off of frame. Alright, let me put the stylus down for a second. Blue bottle ASMR. I'll stop. I couldn't help myself. I could not help it. in there, just kind of move out the glue there. Okay. I'm rinse out the brush. You don't want the glue to completely dry in it, because it will. And then that will be a nightmare. We don't want that. Because then I'll have to find another brush that I can deem a glue brush. And well, I have a crap ton of brushes. Just, eh. You know. I really just didn't want to kill off another brush. I'm just going to let that glue set for just a few moments. Just a few moments. Actually, while that is setting up, I'm going to check my package, which has seemed to have fallen into a black hole. It's in a tracking black hole. The last meaningful update I had on it was on the 12th of April, where it said it departed an international distribution center in Miami. And since the 12th, I've only been getting um, blanket... Um, blanket placeholder messages of your package is moving through our system and is in transit to the next facility and I'm like uh okay but has it even really left the country are you just moving it to the other coast so it can leave the country like I'm confused as to why they would send it from the state that I'm in to Florida and back across the country to California. That doesn't make sense to me, but I don't know if that's what happened. I don't know if it's on a boat. I don't know if it's on a plane. I don't know if it's sitting in a shipping container in a freight yard and it hasn't even left yet. I don't know. I don't know where it is. But the lack of updates are bugging me because I'm like, the lady at the post office said six to ten days and I was like, really? To go international? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. I did pay for priority mail, but um, I don't know if that's why. But the longer it's going without a meaningful update, I'm like, I don't know if I'm fully trusting what you're telling me now, lady. Because now I'm a little concerned. As to whether it's actually going to get there on time, 
at first I was like, oh good, six to ten days. It will be there in plenty of time. It's today's a full week that it's been in their system. So we will see. So, um, what music do you guys like to listen to? Are you like a one genre type person? Or are you the type of person that will listen to just about anything? Like I've known some people that are like, no, it has to be death metal, all the death metal, all the time, constantly. Um, I'm kind of all over the place. I mean, I love me some Linkin Park. But I also kind of like Fall Out Boy. Some of the Fall Out Boy stuff, not all of it. I'm particular in what songs I like. Um, I like Lindsey Sterling, I like Enya, I like Celtic Women. Celtic Woman? Celtic Women. I don't remember if it's woman or women. Um... Uh, I like some Celine Dion. I I listen to a multitude of things. Jimmy Buffett, um, Harry Belafonte. That's some good listening. Harry Belafonte. He'll get you grooving. you enjoy that. Um, what else do I drive? Uh, just steel drum, steel drum band. Um, any of steel drum band. A little bit of Britney Spears, not all of it, a little bit. I don't really listen to that much pop, like, like pop now. Like, I really don't know any of the current um, the current hot new artists I like Vanessa Carlton Al City we're listening to that right now really not up on the new artists I don't really listen to the radio though. I think that's a part of it. I actually like a lot more of the, uh, like the stuff from Epidemic Sound actually. I, I kind of like the stuff on there. And then, you know, some of the stuff from the 80s, like Bon, well, bon Jovi's from all over just about but um like uh oh, what was it? I found a station on Spotify and I don't normally listen to Spotify but I needed something to listen to the other day when I was recording um for YouTube and I found a station called Yacht Rock. It was not what I was expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be something else. <laughs> and uh, cause I didn't really fully read the description, apparently, of the station. Um, I wasn't disappointed. I was just surprised. It's not what I was expecting to hear. But, um, you know, it, it was all right. Okay, so now we're going to have to get a little bit... Clippy in this section. Okay, so we need need some smaller pieces here. Okay, 
this next section. So this is where I like kind of feel like I should get some some craft tweezers. I have one pair of tweezers because I don't want to get all icky with glue on them because I use them for other things like daily life things that pop up that you need tweezers for so I don't really want to ruin them with glue per se You don't need a whole lot of glue in there. And that might be enough in there for what we're doing, so. to have a quick snack. Cause I am hungry. I'm using our bigger water container today just to make sure I have room to swish the brush around really good. Make sure we get all of that glue out of there. Okay, so while that glue is setting, one second, I will be right back. stuff will survive fire enough the fact that it's still growing despite it, it being uh, you know relatively light out relatively cold out 
Yeah, actually, speaking of cold, can you shut that window for me? Yeah, I mean, I was just still open. I had it cracked open. Okay, we're back. I'm back. Sorry. I had to shove food in my face. My stomach <laughs> was growling and it was getting a little unruly. I need a little bit. Ah, I didn't cut it. There we go. It need my bleed. Or it went sideways in the bleed. Was it actually cut? Alright, so I'm not gonna worry too hard about that little gap right in there because the tree's gonna go in so that won't be too much of an issue because the tree will probably come in and cover that anyway. This pink is our sky color. So, just gonna work on getting that tucked up in there. What on earth is that noise? Kitty? Hi, Littles. Oh, you got a bottle cap. Like a plastic cap. I was sitting here thinking, where on earth did she get that from? But I just remembered I was throwing some at Peabutt the other day because he wouldn't stop doing something. And I was across the room. And I didn't have my spray bottle that he hates nearby. And I was like, well, maybe if, you know, it's plastic, it's light, it's not going to hurt him. And I threw it in his direction. <laughs> and he just kind of looked at it. He's like, what was that? He's like, learn to throw. I completely missed him anyway. I was just trying to distract him to get him to stop doing what on earth he was doing. Because he was, what was he? He was destroying a box. That's what he was doing. He was making a ginormous mess. And he was just attacking 
the side of a box. And I don't mean, oh, playfully attacking. No, no, he was digging his teeth into the box and pulling and ripping and shredding it. And I'm like, cat, what is your deal? He's a strange one. I need to cut just a teeny bit off of that one. We didn't pick up our recycling again this week. I am pissed. It's like if it's not overflowing, they don't pick it up. I don't know if they can't see it or we're putting it. Like we always have it in the same spot. I don't know if it's somebody new. I don't know if traffic's a problem and they're not seeing that we have it out. Like, it goes out the night before. I mean, I didn't have the cardboard up because it was raining. Alright. So, I'm not gonna do our purple in there just yet. I think we're going to continue a little bit further down because I still have quite a bit of our pink pre-twisted. So I'd like to use the pre-twisted stuff first, and then I can always go back and um, twisty some stuffy. Eh? All right, sit you over there. Stay. All right. Let's get some glue going in our glue bottle. we should do like that section that we've done in there. Don't want to work in too big of a section right now because I don't know <laughs> how much paper I actually have pre-twisted. Just kind of making sure I push that up against the sides of those. Okay, so the white stuff is the tacky glue. I am liking this so far, I will say. Okay. These little small. We're gonna fill in the smaller section first here. Well, I'm gonna try to. It's gonna be tough to get into that small of a spot. So we might end up going over our quote unquote color key in that section. 
but that's okay. Not the end of the world. Because we're going to have the trees on either side of this section. Actually, this needs to be just a smidge smaller. I'd probably be better off using an X-Acto knife for how small of a cut we're making. But if I had one, I think it's just buried in my desk drawer right now. Okay, every so often you just make sure that you don't have any glue build up on your toothpick or stylus or whatever, paper clip, whatever you're using to kind of smush them into place. It just helps keep a cleaner edge so you don't get any little glue skin taking up residence where you don't want it to be. So I just drag the stylus through the glue. It's okay though. It's not like it's gonna be glued permanently to the canvas. Well, the stylus won't be. It is what we're trying to do with the paper though. It worked out pretty well that I had paint that was pretty close to our tissue paper colors. So, I mean, if I have a gap that's going to be too noticeable, then yeah, I'll go in there and I'll fill that in. But. most part like I have a little bit of a gap right there and I'll just kind of slip that in there in about half okay maybe not quite half but maybe they needed to be a little bit longer than half but again that's okay all right 
So now I have to get back into the smaller cuts. And again, you don't have to do this. This is just... me kind of trying to be a little bit fussy with my sizes here. And that's probably as far down as I'm going to take that one. And it's okay that I have some pink. Popping through there it's not going to get covered because we can cover that with the the purple cloud and then you'll never know that we had the the pink paint down there oh. paper flying everywhere don't you be rolling into the glue stylus it's not. Got some glue on my fingertips. Because <laughs> it's not wanting to let go of me. Time to scrape the glue off of the tips of my fingers or I keep sticking my hands in it. Alright. Okay. Getting that one in there. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna fuss too hard. with that little spot next to the tree because you know it's next to the tree tree is going to be squishy and fabulous and it's going to end up covering that anyhow Alright, so we need a few small guys in there. But I really need to scrape the paint, or the paint, the glue off of my other hand here. Not that bad. It was a little distracting. Okay, so we need to get a few more smaller cuts. Doesn't have to be too small, but just a little bit smaller. Probably gonna need some of our lighter pink too. Okay. So let me get our glue. You know what? I'm just gonna do an indecisive train. Didn't know what I wanted to grab to clean off the top of the glue bottle. Okay. Just grab a little tiny corner of the paper towel we're using to dry the brush on. Alright, so let's let the glue. Who's got a little bit of a 
travel down the bottle there. I know it doesn't look like that's a lot of glue. That's really not that much glue. back in, clean the brushy brush. So I'm not just smushing it in for the sky because I want the trees to be kind of smushy. So the trees will be just like little bits of um, just torn tissue paper or just the straight up squares that we're going to swish around into position. Um, I thought that would make them look a little more natural and give them some leafy plant-like texture. So I didn't want the sky and the um, plants to have the same sort of texture going. Just a personal sort of preference there. If you want everything to have the same uniform look, then that's fine too. Go ahead and do what you want with your creation. That's why it's your creation. these sections in here where we've got a lot of glue on either side I'm just kind of dropping these guys down on in here and then I'm just kind of squishing them together today or at least it's more noticeable with the rain I'm tired of this rain like I know we need it all things considered it was a fairly dry winter for us and that the rain now will try to keep us out of a drought situation but just been like day after day like all day well no it was a little bit sunny yesterday but it was cold 
and then it got cloudy, and then it started raining last night early. It's kind of been raining all night, really. There was a couple of breaks. It actually looked like the sun was trying to come out for like 10 minutes earlier today. But, oh, what can you do? Not a whole lot. I'm gonna cut. I think those scissors are. I think those scissors put up a valiant fight trying to cut some of that tissue paper. Before I switch to the bigger ones, they don't. They seem loose. I wonder if I can just. Or if I can tighten the screw on that. I don't know if I can. Had those scissors a long time. I feel like I had them before Russell moved to New Jersey. Actually, all right. So we need. Where'd it go? Did I lose it? I cut it. And I have no idea where it went. Um, okay. I need to... Oh wait, maybe this is it. Yeah, it feels loose when I'm trying to cut it. of these guys snipped in there. Just to get around that lower cloud bank. And we have these guys. So, now, I get some more glue. Hopefully not squish the glue bottle and have all the paper fly away. That would be... a bit um, problematic. Alright. Grab the glue brush. I know I missed a little spot in there. That's fine. That will become bush or tree, whatever the heck that is. So I'm trying to not go too far ahead of myself here. 
because I don't have that much of the darker pink still twisted. I'll have to go and twist some more. And it's not that big of a deal. I mean, we twisted some earlier, but... I just don't want to get too far ahead. Just trying to leave some room for our purple that we have planned to go in under that. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> don't stick it to me. Stick in the glue. Thank you, wood, please. And that one in there. Now, this is our lighter pink. But I'm going to try to slip into here. I don't want to get too carried away with the lighter pink, but I kind of don't want it to be just in that one spot either. You know, then that would be a little bit weird too. Another one of these light guys. Let's snip that. And just kind of tuck that one in there. Okay. Alrighty, so we're making some progress. It is a little bit of a process, but... Like I said earlier, most people would probably not be quite this insane. I do like how whoop, almost knocked something off my desk. I do like how it comes together. Okay, like there's a few little gaps in there. I can always go back in. And fuss with those. Like I can't do anything, I can't move those now. Those are in place, but we can go back in 
and fill in the gaps that we didn't see with some other pieces if we choose to. And I'll probably do one here and like a couple there. Depends on how big the gap is. Really, for me. It would help if I had stopped putting my fingers in the glue. Just a little bit. Quite possibly. Just kind of looking at it in the camera, trying to see how we're looking so far. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. Of just you know taking that step back and being like, okay, where are we at? What are we looking like? I mean, it helps to do that every so often. I mean, we do have the color key in, but we don't have to follow that strictly that was just for our reference Okay. That's not looking too bad. We still need to get some more um, of the lighter purple in there. We need to get some more pink twisted. Actually, well, yeah, we do need to get some more pink twisted. I was going to say we should use those up, and I am. I want to get some of the lighter pinks and stuff in place, so we can put the stylus up there. And we're actually going to grab some more pink tissue paper. We don't need too much more of the light stuff, but... I guess this is more like a medium pink, all things said and done. We will- hey, Mrs. Charming! Oh, thank you. It looks a little rough at first when you're not used to seeing it, but, um, and the textures look a little weird as you're, you're placing them in, but it starts to um, take shape once you get the different textures in place. And I'm doing the different shapes and um, textures just to give it a little bit more definition. Um, the one I'm working on for YouTube, the desert one, um, my ground, I... Um, 
the ground I just kind of took the squares and smushed them flat like I just kind of fat them in the glue and then used the stylus to squish them to uh, get like veined texture for like cracks in the the ground and stuff so but these um, I, I like to do the the straight lines for water like the little paper snakes I like to do those for water and um, sometimes sky I like to do the round circle-y thingies like the flower buds for for clouds because it just I don't know gives it a little more defined differentness um, so these are gonna be trees we're just gonna smush them in there um, we still have to get some more light purple. I still need to twist some more of that. And we need to twist some more of the dark purple too. Just trying to quickly twist these. So, because it does take a few minutes to twist them and I don't want to take too much time. I did have some pre-twisted, but we kind of blew through most of that. We might actually need some more of the lighter pink pre-twisted. Let me take this one and set that on my plate to the side next to the right shades. So this is our darker purple. I mean pink. Wow. Yeah, get your colors right. Darker pink. Don't want too much more of the lighter pink, but I think we do need just a little bit more. Just to kind of feather it off into existence here. There's our lighter pink. I mean, we have some. Hmm. I do have some, I just don't think we have quite enough. Yeah, like, I know a lot of people, um, well not a lot of people, I've seen people use bleeding tissue paper where they just kind of wet watercolor paper down and um, put the bleeding tissue paper on it and then they'll put water on top of it where they're kind of staining the tissue paper, uh, the watercolor paper with the, um, with the dye in the tissue paper. I've seen that a little bit and it's an interesting background idea, but for me, I, but then like you knock the tissue paper off it doesn't stay there right so to me I'm like I just rather use watercolors because <laughs> um, it kills me that like that much paper was wasted for oh, you get off there um, just to get the color out of it and I'm like uh, you can get the same kind of um, unfocused fuzzy effect with wet on wet to a degree, um, watercolor. I mean, with the watercolor, you do have to make sure that your colors don't bleed into each other and get muddy, but then again, that could happen with the bleeding tissue paper too, I think, but, but we actually make, or I actually make the tissue paper be the art. but um, probably haven't seen it before because not that many people are quite this insane. Because <laughs> it is a little bit time consuming. Wait, let me get some more glue going. I don't know, I kind of like the effect of it. Um, I have, let me see. I have something, I have a finished one. If I can get my, if I can find it. Um, I'm not sure if it's in 
my one reference photo folder. Let me see the other folder it could be in would be um, my screenshot folder seems to have vanished. Uh, where is it? Oh, don't tell me that's on the other drive. Uh, no. Hmm. It has to be here. I hate that I can never find the dang folder that I'm looking for when I want it. It's not in. Oh, wait. There it is. All right, let me see if I can let me drag that onto my desktop so I can find it. Okay, so. Uh, where is one of my images? Text. What is this? That's not what I wanted. That was Creta. That was my desktop. What is this supposed to be? Okay, so this is our our base image. This was our reference photo. Um, so it kind of looks like what we've got put in here. Let me let me go to desktop. And what is this? Twelve ninety six. Okay, that's probably gonna be huge. Oh, it's tiny. Okay, so this is one that I've done before. Let's see if I can make that a little bit bigger. Um, this was. Tissue paper. Sorry, I'm trying to get it. Okay. So, the only thing that wasn't tissue paper on this was the pathway. The pathway was sand that I glued onto the canvas. But um, the background was little circles, I think of tissue paper. The birch trees were like little paper snakes. Um, I just kind of smushed the leaves on top of it. And the flower bushes uh, were little tiny balled up pieces of tissue paper. And then there's more paper snakes for the branches in there. So that whole thing was tissue paper. And then when I was done, I took Mod Podge and went over the top of it just to seal everything down in place so nothing ripped off of it. But yeah, that's one of the ones I've done before. Um, I don't know if I have a picture anywhere that I can access of the other one that I did. Don't think I still have a picture of it, but that was one of the other ones. So that was all tissue paper, but the pathway. Come on, glue. It's got a long way to travel. <laughs> I bought the, the economy. The economy tube. This is just Aline's tacky glue. School glue might work, like your Elmer's or what have you, but 
I think you're going to be fighting it a little bit because it stays liquidy um, and runny. So um, if you do, if you can't get the tacky glue and all you have is the, the white Elmer's glue that's kind of running all over the place, you're probably going to want to put it down and then let it set for a few minutes longer than I leave the tacky glue. Like I would do very small amounts if you're going to do Elmer's and kind of just let it start to get a skin on it. And then start to put it in if that's all you have. I mean, that's going to take some trial and error to fuss with it, but I. Th oh, thank you. I found the, uh, the tacky glue works about the best. I could just use Mod Podge on the bottom, like as our gluing agent to begin with, but I find it dries too fast. Um, as, you know, seems like an odd problem to have. The glue's drying too fast, but... Um, have found that you don't get much time to put it down. And then, you know, it's just kind of playing with it. And putting it in how you like it. Yeah, definitely I would go with the tacky glue. It, it grabs it a lot faster. I find it works a bit better than the school glue, the Elmer's white glue. I prefer the tacky glue, honestly. And then, you know, I just pop in the Mod Podge on top. Just to, you know, it helps seals everything in. And you're gonna probably get glue on your fingers. <laughs> there's just, there's no way around it, whether you're using a toothpick or like a paper clip, like with the little arms bent out or stylus. I just got this one from the dollar store. Or else I probably would be using a toothpick or something equally small that I can use to move this stuff around before the glue really sets up and grabs it. Yep, tacky fingers. The, the paper was actually sticking to my fingers a couple of times earlier. I'm like, no, you're supposed to go on the canvas, not on me. Like, what is this nonsense? didn't say you could do that. So sometimes you kind of have to I mean it, it does take a little bit of patience. You have to figure out you know how long you need to hold it. The circles are a little bit fussier because um, they like to try to unravel but, you know, once, if your glue's a certain level of set, I guess I would say, um, then it's not so much of an issue. But if you're, if you just put the glue down and you're driving in, um, it's probably going to try to unravel on you just because the glue's not quite sticky enough, I want to say. I know that sounds strange, but definitely a trial and error sort of thing. All right, I need to cut this. 
and don't be afraid to play with it. I mean, it is just paper in the end. It's not... not gonna hurt and while tissue paper is a little bit expensive if you're buying a lot of colors like for the color range I was gonna need at like ordering online ordering online like two dollars and change a pack was gonna get pricey so I did find a multi-pack on Amazon um, Let's see, I actually have one that I didn't cut yet. It's got um, 36 colors. It's a super, no, surprise. Surprise? No. Super eyes? I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's super eyes. Uh, off of Amazon. And um, 36 colors, 10 of each color. That was 10 bucks. That was a lot cheaper than what I was seeing on other stuff, which is why I was a little upset when I thought the colors were different. I was like, oh no. Don't tell me that the colors are not going to be consistent every time I order it. But the other packages I opened... Um, like the, it just seemed to be an oddity with the one package I ordered. Um, the other packages seemed to be fine and looked to be similar, if not the same colors. So I think it was just a weirdness where the colors were out of order compared to what I had opened previously. I'm not going to fuss or be too upset um, if we don't get this right up on the edge here because there's another color coming in down in this section, so it's okay. Gonna be okay. Yeah, when I first saw it, I'm like, oh no, I thought I found a relatively inexpensive way to deal with this tissue paper debacle and then I opened it and I was like what was like, but the one that the colors seemed strange on was missing the um, the insert sleeve for the company name and um, there's like this little flower in there that's made of um, cardboard not really sure why it's there um, but it is, and like in the back, that was missing out of the odd colored package too, what I thought was the odd colored package. So I was like, um, I think there was a quality control issue. <laughs> Just maybe. All right, so grab this later, guys. stick my entire hand in the glue. At least it's just tacky glue. It'll wash off. Or peel off. But I was one of those kids that always liked to cover my hand in the Elmer's glue. Let it dry and then peel it off. My mom would get so mad at me. Wasting school supplies for. Because it's fun. And I'm bored. <laughs> At least I'm staying out of trouble. Alright, I do need to add a couple more pieces in this light pink section. And again, I also get paint all over me when I'm painting too, so. I'm just a messy person. Messy, messy, messy. Alright. 
So let's let's get some more glue. Slip that over there. I mean, it would probably be less time to get the glue to come out of the bottle <laughs> if I uh, got the smaller bottles, but this was cheaper in the long run. Just had a couple of gaps in there that I wanted to fill in. trying to work in smaller sections right in here there was a few gaps so just want it to fill in and just kind of get those in there like the gaps aren't too bad because we do have the paint underneath so probably technically don't have to fill them in it's just sort of a preference at this point All right, now you don't have to smooth this out with a brush you could use a popsicle stick or another toothpick or you don't have to really brush it out at all um, I am just because sometimes the tacky glue is a little gloppy and thick um, and I get a little bit more mileage out of it if I do it that way. Budget crafting. Budget crafting. <laughs> like every time I need something I'm like, oh god, how much is this going to cost? I don't have the money for that. But um, yeah, the, the large thing of tacky glue. Um, it was like 10 bucks but I've had this bottle for quite some time and it still works I just picked up I actually picked up a second bottle because I didn't know if my current bottle was still gonna work and to my surprise it did I was like, oh, sweet. So, I have tacky glue for days. Which makes me happy because the tacky glue I can get at Walmart. And I know a lot of people don't like shopping at Walmart, but... I don't have a whole lot of options, and... To be perfectly honest... A lot of people have the same feelings about um, Amazon as well, so it's like, mm, guys, I'm running out of places that I can shop. I'd go to Michael's, but I'd love to go to Michael's, and I can use the 40 off coupon. However, however, I don't have a Michael's near me. The closest Michaels I have is 50 miles from me. And, um, it's not exactly just a run down to the store and be right back. So, we're not really down the neck of the woods where Michaels is. We do have a Joann's, but. I'm not really that big of a fan of Joanne's. Like, I'll, we'll go there when we need fabric or something. Um, I was there all the time when I needed fabric for the guinea pig cage. Um, a lot of my stuff I do get from Amazon because the mother-in-law has Prime. So, I can get my stuff fairly quickly. Um, and some stuff is cheaper on Amazon. You kind of have to price compare nowadays because some stuff they rake you over the coals for. Um, even on Walmart's website, I'd be very leery of ordering off of Walmart's website. Do your research. 
Um, do your research with any online shopping, actually. Um, there was acrylic craft paint when I was looking for it. Because where I was getting my art supplies, I really, really don't want to get them from there any longer. Um, I just, I, I don't like giving that store my money, if I can help it. Because um, we have Hobby Lobby. And... Um, we have Hobby Lobby and Joann's. Our Joann's is like a closet. Um, their their fabric's not bad. Um, like it's mostly fabric in our location. And if you need fabric, hey, cool. Um, but anything else like crafty stuff, um, it's it's tough they don't have a huge selection because it's a small location um, but I will say when I was trying to find more craft paint and I was looking online um, I was looking at Amazon's website and the bottles of craft paint, two ounce bottles, um, I actually don't have one right next to me for a change. Huh. Um, they're like from the pink on the stylus to the pink on the stylus. They're not that very big, two ounces. Um, for, what brand was it? I feel like for folk art? on Amazon was almost five dollars a bottle and I was like what the fuck I was like who are you trying to kid there my friend you should never be paying five dollars for a two ounce bottle of paint um that's asinine unless it's like a metallic color or like a, a crackle medium or something um or like a spe special glow in the dark that you know is gonna glow in the dark um that was i saw that and i was like oh no 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 i ain't paying that um and then even joanne's site wasn't was a bit expensive but everything at joanne's is a little expensive to a degree um it wasn't five dollars, it was a dollar... Uh, it's under two dollars. Um, which is more in line with like your folk art and your ceram coat. Um, craft paints, uh, your Americana, those are, those, those are in the dollar fifty to two dollar range. Uh, based off of when I was working for AC Moore. Um, but it was just crazy. And then I went into Walmart and they had Apple Barrel. And Apple, Apple Barrel is not bad. They're cheap, but they're not bad. Um, as long as you keep in mind that it's a cheap, cheaper um, craft paint. So it's going to be a little bit more transparent. As long as you're okay with that and you know what you're getting into. Um, in Walmart, they're 50 cents a bottle. I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do that that is in my budget that is very much in my budget but you know I was not paying almost five dollars for a teeny tiny bottle of paint no no do your research that's crazy um, but at the same time because um, I was trying to find an alternative to Hobby Lobby and I think our local Joann's, like everything I was seeing on the website that I wanted to get, it was out of stock in the store location. And I'm like, really? So I was trying to find a new canvas supplier. Because it's hard to beat the price on canvas at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be honest, it is. But I noticed um, when I was on their website looking at their prices, Hobby Lobby's prices have actually gone up a little bit on the canvas. And Hobby Lobby did away with their 40 off coupon, I think. 
Um, so Joanne's everything except fabric is practically sold out and when they have something I can use all the I can use all the coupons from Michael's and Hobby Lobby and the, yeah like if you can find stuff with the coupon that's that's awesome and that's one of the reasons why I was shopping at Hobby Lobby was the coupon um but I saw something where Hobby Lobby was doing away with their 40 off coupon I don't know if that's still true but I'm not a fan of Hobby Lobby's business practices to begin with, but I was going there when I was, my back was against the wall and I was like, I need this and I need it today. And I am not paying $30 for this when I can get it for 15 here. Like I'm just, I'm not. But when I was looking for canvas, Walmart online had canvas and I'm like, oh cool, this is the size I need. And then I looked at the price and I was like, $24 for one canvas. Are you effing kidding me? And then I realized it was some, from a partner seller. It wasn't from Walmart itself. So that's another thing you have to watch when you're ordering online, even from Amazon or, or Walmart as well. Just because it's being sold on their site doesn't mean that they're the ones that are selling it. I went into the store, found the same exact canvas, the same exact brand in a um, value pack for like 12 bucks and I'm like that's maybe a dollar over Hobby Lobby's for that size for the same amount of canvas in there I'm okay with that yeah Hobby Lobby I think they did do away with the coupon and I understand at least well I shouldn't say I understand I don't know what the full reasoning was for it but I have a good idea um because uh, I've, I've worked in the craft industry before. Um, I worked for AC Moore for six years now. AC Moore was mostly on the East Coast. Um, it was started out family run. Sorry, I need some more tissue paper. Let's talk and twist at the same time. Um, and... It was mostly like New Jersey, Pennsylvania, um, New York. They were just starting to branch out into Maine and um, I think South Carolina, maybe Florida when I quit. Um, or maybe they were talking about opening the store in Florida. They're definitely trying to expand. Um, they've since gone out of business because the the um, gentleman running it, it was basically a family business. Um, the gentleman that started it with a business partner, um, he had a huge family and one of his daughters was the office manager for the location that I worked in. Um, the cousins, the sons, the daughters, the kids, the nieces, the nephews, like everybody that grew up in the family basically worked for the company. Um, I mean, there were people that weren't part of the family that worked there, but um, all of the core people in their warehouse and in a couple of the stores. Well, I will say the store that I worked in um, had family in it. I don't know about the other stores. I think everybody else that was family might have been warehouse or main office. The main office they called the warehouse. Um, because the the gentle, one of the gentlemen that started it, he lived... Um, he lived in South Jersey. The daughter that was the office manager in my location, she lived um, like a half hour from the store. So her husband ended up, I don't know if he worked at the store before she married him. Like I don't know if that's where they met, but the store manager and the office manager in my location ended up getting married excuse me, they ended up getting married and um, 
she was married previously, so she had some kids from a previous marriage. When they got married, they had two kids together? But, like, in, in total she has, like, eight kids, I think? <laughs> so, um, you know, they were, the one they were already, um, was doing class, teaching classes on Saturdays for kids, um, in, in the classroom or helping with birthday parties or something. Once she got old enough to be able to work a certain number of hours for the labor laws in New Jersey. Um, but yeah, it was like all family and when her father was the one that had started it um, with the business partner, uh, when he retired, the person that he had groomed, groomed, that he had um, trained to run the company the way he wanted it or the way he had been running it, um, the new guy fired all of the family. I left right before this happened, I think. Um, the new guy fired all of the family, demoted some of the family that had gone to, like, district managers overseeing certain locations or certain groups of locations, um, down to store manager, and then eventually fired all together. And, um, just this past November in 2020, they had announced that they were going out of business and filing bankruptcy. And I was like, oh, geez. I was like, holy hell. Um, I think they were struggling to compete with Hobby Lobby. Because um, just right in the same town, well, maybe not the same town, maybe it was like one town over. It was like the difference of like 10 minutes down the road. There was a Michael's Hobby Lobby just moved in in the same shopping center as Michael's. That's a lot of balls. Um, back where I live and um, or where I'm from. And um, then like another five minutes down the road was Joanne's it, on the opposite side of the road in a different shopping center. I was like, wow. Talk about saturation. Like I like Michael's, but they're a little expensive on some things. Like, you definitely want to have the coupon um, on a lot of stuff. Like, I think their sketchbooks are a little expensive. But then again, I was used to seeing the prices at Hobby Lobby from them being the main location that I have access to. So, um, but I really don't like shopping at Hobby Lobby. If I can help it, I won't. But at least Walmart, our our location Walmart, our super center, um, has actually expanded their craft aisle a little bit. Um, they've, they're starting to carry um, multiple different sizes in canvas. Uh, they've got some brushes that aren't totally crap. Um, They've got, you know, like the apple barrel paints now. Um, they've got a little bit of yarn. Not a whole lot. I mean, nothing like the selection of a standard craft store. They even have a little bit of fabric. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a closer option for us because um, our Hobby Lobby location was um, not... All that easy to get to shall we say for us um, it's kind of a pain in the ass oh, we're gonna have to snip some of these All right. I like the brush because then I can kind of move this around to where I want it to be you only have Amazon and Walmart and Joann's yeah like, Walmart's not bad. Uh, they're getting better with their, their art supply sele uh, selection. At least our location is. Um, I don't know if that rings true for every location. I've seen mixed mixed feelings about that. Um, our Dollar Tree, even, has gotten a few things. Um, 
that surprised me. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, they had that stylus that I'm using. Like, I didn't expect to find that there. Um, they've got, you know, the smaller canvases. I didn't see any... Did I see any paint when I was there last? I don't remember. But Dollar Tree is so hit or miss because their, um, their stock tends to rotate a lot more than your your average store so you never really know what you're going to be able to find there consistently it's always kind of a oh what are we going to find this time like if you find something at, hot, at a dollar tree and you know that you're going to be using it and you want to come back and get more don't come back get out get all of it get all of that you think you're going to need because if you try to go back to get more probably not going to find it with just the way they stock their stuff. Um, I mean, you could try to Dollar Tree hop and hope that one of the Dollar Trees in your area might have it, if you have more than one. Um, we have a Dollar Tree near where we get our groceries, um, and then there's a bigger Dollar Tree further down the road um, in the city. We don't go to that one very often because it's kind of a pain in the ass to uh, to get to for us. But yours is set in stone. Oh, you have a Dollar Tree too, and yeah, like they some of the Dollar Tree locations have been getting some stuff like um, like nothing incredible. Incredible. I've seen tiny. Um, hi, Momo. Oh no, that's Zuzu. Hi, Zuzu. What's up, buddy? Um, I've seen... Doggy says hello. I've seen, um, like, little tiny dollar canvases. Um, I've seen, um, what else have we seen? Like, little grommety things, um, like, little tools, um, just stuff I wasn't expecting. Some some uh, locations I've seen people get like watercolor or tempera paints that was in like an artist tube that actually did fairly well when tested um, so I mean yeah just I would see what they got you never know what you can find in the Dollar Tree but um, I actually haven't been in Joann's in a while in our Joann's. But, um, I remember the last time that I was in there, it was mostly fabric, which, you know, that's their primary deal, so that's fine. Um, and then a lot of scrapbooky stuff. They didn't have much for fake flowers. Can you take him potty or do I need to? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, they didn't have much in the way of artificial flowers. No, no, no. I didn't want you there. Oh, well. You're there now. Um, but uh, they, had, they had some yarn. I will say that. They did have a, s a section of yarn. Um, trying to think like their their artisty stuff though like their paints and stuff they didn't seem to have a whole lot of but if I need a large canvas I'll probably snag a coupon and then go there I used to do paint by numbers all the time. I haven't done one in a while. I just used to like doing them. I had a thing for puzzles for a long time too. I miss doing puzzles. We have cats now. <laughs> so, um... We have cats and I don't really have a large place to do a puzzle where I can work on it over time. 
So sometimes they take me a little bit to get through. And so I like to leave it up and, you know, work on it a little bit here, a little bit there. But with the cats, they're kind of assholes. Our cats are, at least. Um, and they will roll around on stuff. They will bat the pieces off the the uh, the table that I'd be working on. Um, I wouldn't put it past them to try to chew on some of the pieces because I know the one cat's a bit of a chewer. So it's like, mm. so I would need to get like the rolly mats or something or like the, the cases that you can keep them in while you're working on them. But for now, I actually have a free puzzle game. Was it free? I think it was free. If it wasn't free, it was inexpensive. Because now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure if I, maybe, maybe $2? $5? Maybe it was free. Um, it was on Steam. Um, some sort of jigsaw puzzle game. And you get a certain number of free puzzles. And then you can, you earn coins as you put them together. And then I think those coins you can use to quote unquote buy or unlock new puzzles. But you get quite a large selection of free puzzles. And I was actually rather impressed. And then you get um, different, is it four different piece sizes? that you can put them together in on the free ones I think I think it goes from like 60 pieces to 800 pieces and those 800 pieces are actually hard when um, you're doing them digitally because I'm the type of person that likes to touch the pieces and I like to feel the edges I, I'm, I'm weird I have problems I have my own issues <laughs> but um, the um, like, I, I like to touch it. I think that's why I have such a hard time with trying to do digital art. Because I need to touch it. Like, I, it, it's not right if I can't touch it. It's, it's weird, I know. But, you know. I, I've tried to do the digital. It just... I, I use digital a lot for, for planning stages. Um... I do do that, especially if it's going to be a lot of intricate stuff. Oh, damn. I Sorry, I cut one, and p part of it flew off into the abyss, and I was like, where did it go? And I moved my arm, and then it fell and hit the floor. I was like, oh, that's where it went. It went in that crevice. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, I need to... I need to touch the things, but I do use digital for planning stages of stuff. Um, especially for things that I don't normally draw, because by the time I get it traced out onto my canvas, um, and then get the paint down on it, it's morphed into something else entirely. <laughs> and half the time it doesn't really look like what I had originally traced on there to begin with so it's always an adventure with me okay ever since the um, husband got officially diagnosed um, on his journey to try to get his disability like we knew about the we knew he had um, depression and anxiety issues we did not know that, um, and this surprised us, that, well it surprised me, that they decided that he has Asperger's as well. And I was like, ooh, that explains some things actually, um, <laughs> in regards to, to him to a degree. But um, when he was getting, he said that actually filled in a lot of question marks. Um, as he was growing up about different things and why things were such a struggle at times and 
He goes, that actually makes quite a degree of sense now. I was like, well, you know, it, I can see it to a degree. Um, but when he had to go through his testing to get his formal diagnosis to put, um, to put on his disability application, um, when he came home, he goes, you know what? He goes, I think you might have, s you either have autistic traits or I think you might have some level of autism. And he goes, you might have this as well. And I was like, what do you mean? And he started, um, going over the tests that he had to do and just him telling me about it, like, I burst into tears because I was like, I can't do that. Like, he was rattling off, like, they were making, they're giving him verbal math problems, like, he couldn't, he couldn't see it written, and they were giving him, like, these long equations to do verbally, and then he had to do it in his head, and I'm like, I'm lost by the third number you said, what, what the hell? And I, math is not, no, math is one of those things that I, I struggle with terribly, um, to the point where I'm like, you do it, because I just get upset, and, um, and he was telling me, and I just, like, started crying, he goes, yeah, and I was, he's like, I knew the second they started doing this, like, there was no way, I was like, yeah, no, I would be a blubbering mess in the middle of that, like, hardcore, not happening, not happening, and if, if like, I won't argue that I don't have some tendencies that could be seen as that, and like, I do get really upset when my routine changes abruptly with like, no warning. Be like, oh, well, we're doing this now, and like, but that's, we don't do that today and it's like well no we have to do this day and like I get upset when I have to change my own plans and routines and stuff like I don't days when I have to change what I'm streaming or change the day that I'm streaming I don't take that lightly because a that's how I anchor myself during my weeks <laughs> oh no no um like, when he was just telling me, I got so overwhelmed. I was just like, oh, God. Like, no. And, um, so I don't take having to rearrange my, my stream schedule lightly. But, um, we haven't gotten me officially diagnosed yet. Because we're going to wait and see what happens with his stuff because we don't want it to look funny and we don't want it to hurt his chances of getting his disability um disability uh payments um if like they might find it weird if it gets denied then I immediately turn around and do it so we're just trying to not cause eyebrows to be raised. We're just gonna, we're gonna work through his process, um, and see what happens. We're waiting to get some kind of answer. I think it's been maybe a month since, um, his application. Well, they start from the date that you start your application. Um, so I think it's been about a month and I think it could take up to five months to hear. Maybe, if not longer. So, yeah. So we're just gonna take one of us at a time and then go from there and figure it out. And um, we'll probably have to get a lawyer involved. It's usually how these things go. We'll see. Hopefully they won't be total dicks about it, but... Oh no, no, I, we've been through this. Um, I've been through this before with my mom um, when she had to apply for disability with her back. 
they denied it first go out and then they made her go to all these specialists and get their own diagnosis and she had to get a lawyer involved and they like drug it out as much as humanly possible for her yeah Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. We're hoping that he had different letters. We're hoping that the fact that he has different letters from different doctors stating the level of care they feel that he's going to need or support is going to help. But we'll see. It, it's definitely going to be a process. Most definitely, especially, especially this state. But they could surprise us. Oh no, um, it might as well be, but no, uh, we're, we're in Arkansas. Um, we're in the States. He's not in the, in the military or anything, but we'll see what happens. Sometimes they like to to drag things out further. Um, I know it's a lot of red tape when you live in New Jersey. Don't know what it's like down here, how many times you have to go through appeals processes and stuff. Um, he already kind of talked to a lawyer um, to figure out, you know, what I think it was a free consultation. Um, like what our options were between that and his therapist. And um, so he has someone kind of lined up to, that does this kind of stuff that helped his aunt get hers approved. So we, we kind of have, you know, we kind of have um, an idea of the road that we need to take or what the road's gonna look like, it's just, oh jeez, they, they just, they drag it out so much, and it's like, I'm not well, you're not helping this, you're making it worse. But, um, yeah, well, we'll see. Right now, it's it's out of our hands. We have to just sit tight. Hopefully yours doesn't get dragged out much longer. And you get some answers. That are the right ones. <laughs> IBS. Yeah, that's that's not fun. That does make life very difficult. Like, he's on medication, but it only does so much. And, like, even his therapist was like, yeah, I don't think there's much that's really gonna help in this situation. But we'll see. We'll see. My only experience was um, with my mom when she was going for um, her back. And that was years ago. And that was for um, degenerative joint disease in her, was it her back and her neck? I can't remember if it was both or just the one. And the shit they made her do. She had to go through cortisone shots and everything. She had to exhaust like every possibility at that time to like prove that she was trying to feel better. And because I was a dependent, 
when she finally got hers approved, then she got a separate, well, was it, in, no, I got money in my name to cover my expenses. Some of my expenses. So, I mean, that helped a little bit. But yeah, like back to like the math and stuff, like they always pulled me out um, during certain classes to work with me with the child study team, like the, like the, oh, let's see what we can do. And like they would work on hand and, hand and eye coordination with me. And I'm like, what the hell does this have to do with anything? And it's like, they're, they're learning grammar in the other room. Is, don't, don't I need to do that? And they're, they're learning how many trains Tommy has to take with six elephants to get to the plaza across the street or some shit. And like, don't, don't I, don't I need to be there for that? And, and, um, I was under the impression that it was due to my very bad short term memory. That's what I was always told as to why I was in those classes, that they were trying to improve that. A couple of months ago, my mom's like, no, no, you weren't in there for, for short-term memory. I was like, that's what you all always told me. She goes, no, it was for your dyslexia. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> I'm like, um... You didn't tell me she confirmed that. No, that's what she told me. The other, like, a couple months ago in the kitchen. I'm like, what? And, um, she's like, no, no, that, you were in those for your dyslexia. And I was like, no, I wasn't. And she's like, yeah. I was like, no, you all always told me it was because I had a bad short-term memory problem. And, uh, she's like, no, 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 it was for dyslexia. I was like, well, gee, that would have made my life a hell of a lot easier if you all had explained that to me to begin with. Because then I wouldn't have felt quite so crazy when I'm trying to <laughs> to take tests and whatnot and putting the back half of the question in the middle and coming up with my own different question while I'm reading it. And then, you know, failing the test because I'd put the wrong answer down and then the verbal test is, or the test is being gone over verbally and, you know, and I'm answering the questions correctly and they're like, well, why didn't you put that on your paper? And I'm just sit there dumbfounded staring at the, the teacher and I was like, but I did. And then I'm looking at my paper, I'm like, oh no, I didn't. So it was always a struggle. Always. But. They would always test me once a year to reevaluate as to whether or not I still had to be in those classes. And it would take like half the day, if not most of the day, school day. And I'd miss a whole day of class. And then have to go to all of my teachers once I got back and be like, yeah, what was the homework? Because I got pulled out for X. Which was a pain. Making good progress. And I think with that, we're going to stop today. And we will pick up more next week. So let's see how far we are. The camera's going to get a little weird for a second. 
because I readjust. Okay. So we're not doing too bad. Um, we've got this section filled in here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for popping in. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, we've been going about three hours, so I think this is a good stopping point. And I'm getting really, really hungry. I want to make dinner. <laughs> so, um, my snack didn't last very long. <laughs> so yeah, no, we, we've got our pink sky in. And then I'll make sure I've got more paper pre-twisted for next week, now that I have an idea of the colors that we're working with. And, uh, and what we're doing. So you have a good day. Hopefully your review at the board goes well. Fingers crossed for you. Um, best of luck and uh, have a great day have a great weekend um, I won't be streaming anymore this weekend I will see you guys on Wednesday I will be at the Wild Challenges podcast tomorrow evening though so good night um, so that'll be at 7pm Eastern on their channel tomorrow for Saturday and um, I will see you guys on Wednesday for more Bloodthirsty and oh thank you um for more bloodthirsty challenge leveling so good luck with your challengers i know there's a bug with the api info right now where people haven't been able to add new characters since like the end of march <laughs> we don't know when that's gonna get fixed that's on blizzard unfortunately we can't fix it so Hopefully it'll be fixed by time 9.1 comes out, I hope. If not, we're going to have a serious talk with Blizzard. <laughs> Fix your shit. <laughs> but um, you guys have a great night, a great weekend. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I will see you on Wednesday. Time is always appreciated. Thank you very much for popping in. You guys have a great one, and I'll see you later.